What if I told you that the oil you pour into your diesel truck could be the reason it lasts half a million miles or blows a turbo before 150,000? Sounds crazy, but it's true. Most diesel owners think as long as they're using synthetic oil, they're safe. But here's the real truth. The wrong viscosity oil, even from a top brand, can slowly destroy your bearings, timing components, and turbocharger without you even knowing it. And the most common confusion, whether to use 5W30 or 5W40 in a diesel engine. Now, on the surface, those two numbers don't look that different, but under the hood, they act completely differently, especially when your engine is hauling weight, idling for hours, or climbing steep grades in summer heat. If you're someone who cares about protecting your vehicle with real facts instead of marketing hype, hit that subscribe button right now. It's actually shocking that over 95% of viewers don't subscribe, despite saving hundreds or even thousands from the information in these videos. Subscribing costs you nothing but helps us keep bringing you content that oil companies and dealers don't want you to see. So in this video, we're breaking down the science, myths, and real-world results behind 5W30 versus 5W40 diesel oils. By the end, you'll know which one keeps your diesel alive longer and which one might be thinning out and wearing your engine from the inside. Section 1. What the numbers really mean in diesel oil. Let's start with the basics, because this part confuses a lot of people. That number on your oil jug, like 5W30 or 5W40, isn't a brand code. It's a temperature rating that tells you how the oil behaves when it's cold and when it's hot. Here's the simple breakdown. The first number, the 5W, is about cold flow. The W stands for winter. A lower number means the oil flows faster in cold weather. So both 5W30 and 5W40 will flow about the same when you start your truck on a cold morning. The second number, the 30 or 40, shows how thick the oil stays once the engine is fully hot, around 2 Fahrenheit and 12. That's the real difference. 5W30 becomes a bit thinner at operating temperature, while 5W40 stays thicker, forming a stronger protective film over metal parts. Now you might think thinner oil is always better for fuel economy. And sometimes that's true. But diesel engines face a completely different kind of stress compared to gas engines. We're talking massive cylinder pressure, soot buildup, long idling, and high turbo heat. In those conditions, that thicker oil film from 5W40 can mean the difference between smooth running and metal-on-metal -metal wear. So the question becomes, when does 5W30 make sense and when does 5W40 save your engine? That's exactly what we'll uncover next, using real-world lab results and field testing from heavy-duty diesel trucks. The real-world diesel oil test. To understand the real difference between 5W30 and 5W40, a team of engineers at the Diesel Technology Center of North America ran one of the most detailed long-term oil tests ever done. They used 40 identical 6.7-liter diesel engines, running them for 200,000 miles under controlled conditions. Half used 5W30, the other 5W40 did with the same filters, same fuel, same maintenance schedule. The results shocked even veteran diesel mechanics. The 5W30 engines ran slightly smoother in cold starts and showed about 1.8% better fuel economy, especially during light load driving. But as the miles piled on, problems started showing up. Higher bearing wear, increased oil consumption, more soot buildup in valve covers and EGR system. By 20,000 miles, oil analysis showed that the 5W30 engines had 27% more iron particles, meaning more internal wear. On the other hand, the 5W40 engines had thicker oil films under high load and maintained pressure even during hot highway towing. Teardown photos told the full story. 5W40 engines had cleaner pistons, minimal sludge, and smoother cam lobes. 5W30 engines showed varnish and wear marks on bearings and timing components. In plain English, 5W30 wins on cold starts and fuel efficiency. 5W40 wins on durability, turbo protection, and long engine life.
What mechanics say, veteran diesel mechanic Scotty Kilmer summed it up best. 5W30 might keep your truck happy for the warranty period, but if you plan to keep it past 150,000 miles, switch to 5W40. It's the difference between an engine that just runs and one that runs forever. That matches what many experienced fleet technicians say, see fewer timing chain issues, less turbo coking, and cleaner oil samples after 10,000 miles. Why the difference matters. Diesel engines aren't just bigger gasoline engines. They're pressure monsters. A turbo diesel cylinder can hit 2,000 PSI of combustion pressure. Every time your truck pulls a load uphill, the bearings, piston rings, and cam lobes are under brutal stress. At that level, a thin oil film like 5W30 can shear down, meaning it loses viscosity under pressure. Once that happens, it's like running your engine with less protection every single mile. That's why many mechanics call 5W40 the insurance policy oil. It gives up a small bit of fuel economy, but pays you back with lower wear and fewer repairs. Why automakers push thinner diesel oils? If 5W40 protects better, then why do so many new diesel trucks and SUVs come with 5W30 printed right on the oil cap? Here's the truth, and it has more to do with government rules and corporate fuel economy targets than engine protection. In the U.S., automakers must follow strict corporate average fuel economy, CAFE, standards. These rules set minimum MPG averages across a company's entire lineup. If the average fuel economy drops, the manufacturer pays heavy fines, sometimes millions of dollars. Now here's the trick. Switching from 5W1 to 5W30 or even 0W30 doesn't sound like much, but across millions of vehicles, that tiny 1% to 2% fuel economy boost can save automakers millions in penalties. So when they recommend 5W30, they're not thinking about your engine's long-term health. They're thinking about meeting EPA fuel economy standards, in fact, in 2019, Cummins quietly released a service bulletin explaining that low-viscosity oils like 5W30 and FA4 grades were introduced to improve fuel economy, but also admitted that higher-viscosity oils may enhance durability under heavy loads or high temperatures. Manufacturers know that thicker oils like 5W40 protect better, but they also know most owners will trade engine life for slightly better MPG numbers. The regional secret. Here's something most drivers don't realize. So if you're wondering why your European buddy's diesel Land Cruiser or Hilux lasts 400,000 miles without a rebuild, that thicker oil choice is one of the biggest reasons. When thinner oils work and when they don't. Now that doesn't mean 5W30 is always bad. It actually has its place. Cold weather regions where winter starts drop below freezing, light-duty diesel cars and crossovers, short city commutes with low engine stress, brand new engines with tight bearing tolerances. But once you start towing, idling long hours or driving in summer heat, 5W30 begins to lose film strength and your engine starts wearing faster. That's why many heavy-duty owners switch to 5W40 full synthetic once their truck hits around 80,000 to 100,000 miles. By then, clearances open slightly, and that thicker oil builds a stronger cushion between metal parts. The hidden heat zone that kills thin diesel oils. Every modern diesel engine has a danger zone, a spot where oil gets pushed to its limits. It's not the crankcase. It's not the valve cover. It's the tiny space between the piston rings and the cylinder wall where temperatures can spike to 500p or more, especially in turbo diesels. Most 5W30 diesel oils begin to lose their protective film around 4. Once that happens, the microscopic oil layer that keeps metal parts apart starts breaking down, and metal-on-metal -metal contact begins. You won't hear it. You won't see it on the dash. But every time you tow heavy, climb long hills, or idle in summer heat, that thin oil is literally cooking away protection from the inside. Meanwhile, 5W30, being thicker and more heat-resistant, keeps its film strong up to around 480F or higher, enough to handle towing high boost and long highway runs without breaking down. That's why many fleet trucks, semis, and high-mileage diesels never use 5W30, because over time, thin oil means extra wear on pistons, bearings, and especially turbochargers. Turbo trouble. 
Think of your turbo as a miniature jet engine spinning at 150,000 RPM and cooled by oil. That oil must stay strong under both heat and insane pressure. When 5W30 thins out after thousands of miles, it can't cushion those turbo bearings properly. The result? Coking, burnt oil deposits that block oil flow, bearing wear or scoring, and in severe cases, full turbo failure. On the other hand, 5W40 full synthetic oils, especially premium ones like Shell Rotella T6 or Mobile Delvac Extreme, stay stable even under brutal conditions. They hold pressure, resist oxidation, and keep turbos alive far longer. Oil consumption and wear. There's another hidden issue. Oil consumption. When thin oil starts breaking down, it burns off faster. Some 5W30 diesel oils can lose up to 10% of their volume through evaporation during high heat operation. That lost vapor doesn't just disappear. It gets sucked back into your intake system through the PCV valve, coating your EGR and intake valves with carbon. Thicker oils like 5W40 resist evaporation, reducing oil burn and carbon buildup dramatically. Less carbon means better airflow, cleaner emissions, and smoother power delivery. Thinner oil may save you a few bucks at the pump, but it costs you thousands in repairs down the road. That's why experienced diesel mechanics often say, if you care about your MPG, use 5W30. If you care about your engine, use 5W40. The right diesel oil for every driver. Let's make it simple. Choosing between 5W30 and 5W40 isn't about what's better. It's about what your diesel needs. Different engines, climates, and driving habits demand different protection levels. So here's a quick diesel oil decision checklist. Use 5W30 diesel oil. You live in a cold or snowy area where winters drop below freezing. You do mostly short commutes or city driving. Less engine load. You own a newer diesel with advanced emission systems like DPF or AdBlue. Because 5W30 low ash oils reduce soot buildup, you want slightly better fuel economy and faster cold starts. But remember, always stick to diesel rated 5W30, not regular gasoline 5W30. Look for or DEX SD, depending on your vehicle specs. Use 5W40 diesel oil. You drive in hot climates or desert like areas. You tow heavy loads, haul gear, or drive long highway distances. Your truck has a turbocharger or often runs at high RPM. You own an older diesel engine, especially pre-2010 models. You want maximum engine protection and turbo lifespan. 5W40 offers a thicker protective film and better resistance to heat breakdown, which means less wear, less oil consumption, and cleaner turbo operation. Pro Mechanic Tip if your diesel has over 50,000 miles or you're seeing oil burning or blue smoke, switch to 5W40 full synthetic immediately. You'll notice smoother idle, quieter operation and lower oil usage within a few hundred miles. Your diesel engine is built for power and endurance, but only if you feed it the right oil. Don't just follow what's common. Follow what's correct for your climate, your driving, and your vehicle's needs. Because at the end of the day, Good diesel oil isn't an expense. It's insurance that keeps your engine strong for years. So before your next oil change, take a minute to look at what's really going into your diesel. That one choice, 5W30 or 5W40, could decide how long your engine lives. If this helped you understand your diesel a little better, make sure to subscribe because we've got more real-world diesel tips coming that'll save you money and keep your truck running like new. And remember, take care of your oil and your diesel will take care of you.